this is my old charcoal gasifier barrel. You can see some gaping holes. <laughs> yeah, that's no good for charcoal gasification anymore. You can see right through it. Might have to rotate it a little bit to bring the registration marks up. But yeah, we're equal on all sides. I have to do something to keep the spring from falling off. Yes, sir. -y. First run of the gas to fire with uh, water cooled, or I should say, oil cooled hearth. Can't really tell the color of that, but it's translucent orange. Not a lot of blue. And it's a little windy, so it keeps blowing out. And I do need to hook up a fan. This pipe here, too hot to touch. Um, that noisy pump leaks like a sieve because it's an automotive oil pump that belongs in the oil pan of an engine. So, not sure what we're going to do about that. We have to shut it down pretty quick here because it's getting too hot. But yeah, we got a good, a good flare going. I'll turn it off now. So it's taken a long time to cool off. And uh, that's the temperature in the reservoir. I've shut it, shut everything down, capped off the flare. Everything's shut down. And uh, we're still getting lots of heat from the radiator. Oil temperature is 125. I think it was probably up around 200 and I definitely need to get a fan on here doing a run of the the gasifier with the oil cooled hearth and intake so we've got our oil pump right here And the temperature, 179, and that's after it has gone through the cooler. We've got some good warm air coming out, obviously. Need to fix a few leaks in the puff lid. But we're operating in pressure mode, so we're not getting air leaks where we shouldn't. And flare, most of it's invisible. But pretty sure I could run an engine on that. Do a little walk around here. And I'm running uh, the vacuum motor on 12 volts coming out of that power brick and going to the to the vacuum motor which is right here and uh, it's crazy how much that pushes just on 12 volts so the temps seem to be holding steady Steady 178, and that's after the cooling. An 
the oil level has dropped a bit and we get a bubble every so often so I think it's still trying to purge air out it might even be water vapor not sure the copper line in the back is the return line and we're running about 176 on the return line Flare still looks nice. Practically invisible. A little bit of smoke. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Now the flare is staying lit without the torch. And I got my hand over the end of the blower so it doesn't blow as much. That tells us something about the turndown ratio, I suppose. And it starts to blow out. Yeah. It's full blast. We've got 181 on the oil temp. Oh, there it went out. All right. Getting bubbles it might be water vapor. be distillation products from the oil. I don't know. And this motor is running hot too. It's not meant to run that slow I don't think. Temperature is dropping fast. I have stopped the, the airflow on the intake and capped off the flare. So, and the oil level's dropping too, right due to the contracting of the oil as it cools. the shaker rod way over there interesting I don't know how much of an angle I can get before I can't see anymore Okay, so we're going to do another run of the gasifier. I have put a, a better motor on the oil pump. It turns slower, but it's geared, and that's the speed that it turns with really cold, stiff oil. And the question is, will the oil flow uh, suffer badly enough that it'll get too hot 
uh, it will spend more time then in the cooler if it's going slower. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to be a, a win. So we've got the, the uh, push blower going and we're going to light up the, uh, the intake. Got to thread the cap onto there for the plug, I should say. And, uh, the fire should blow. Yep, now we're getting smoke out of there. the fire on it just keep it from being as smoky all right we'll come back in a little bit all right so this is after I don't know five minutes of running ten minutes the smokiness really cleared up and now we have a nice magenta colored flare.